Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to show you how to boot into the, if you're going to install Windows 7 from, from scratch. So, uh, let's say you want to downgrade from Windows 8, and you want to install Windows uh, 7. If you have an extra copy of it, and you want to install it, uh, that, so you just put in your, your uh, DVD into the drive. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to go into uh, settings, so go on to, move your mouse to the right lower right hand corner go to settings and then say change PC settings so this is going to come up you go to general then scroll down to uh, advanced settings and click uh, restart okay so once you click restart uh, it's going to come up to this so what you're going to do is you're going to say okay you want to use uh, uh, a device so use a USB drive so in this case we're going to use the, the CD so we select the device and we'll say we want to go into uh, EFI DVD so now what you do is uh, we'll click on it the system's going to restart okay and uh, you're probably gonna, I'm, I'm going to show you guys an error that comes up so you guys uh, know how to fix this okay this is going to come up Good failure, a proper digital signature was not found. If you're getting this on the machine, that means that uh, the security uh, boot is enabled on CMOS. All right, in order to uh, fix this, we're gonna go into uh, setup. Okay, so I'm gonna just shut down the camera and turn it back on once we're in setup to show you how to eliminate that, okay? Okay, now, we're gonna actually uh, change it to go into the uh, CMOS or setup screen. So go back to the right, uh, go to settings, change PC settings, go to general, and go down to, I know I'm going pretty fast on this, go to restart uh, now for advanced startup. It's gonna restart. If you want to know how to get into this menu there's another video that shows you that uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into troubleshoot and then we're going to go into uh, advanced settings and now we're going to go into uh, change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware so we're going to select that and then we're going to it's going to take us to the screen now click restart now the system's going to restart uh, in CMOS and what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the security boot so that way it doesn't it doesn't come up with that okay so here we go we're in the main screen now we need to go to security and notice security boot it says enable so you want to scroll down to it select that and if you if you read the item the item specific uh, description here it says enable or disable security boot features so what we're going to do is we're going to disable that so click enter and click disable so once it's disabled now you're going to back into uh, exit and save settings so you want to say yes and it's going to restart now It's actually going to restart into uh, Windows 8. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, now that we're back on the start screen, we're going to click on uh, settings. Change uh, PC settings. And we're going to be in the... Now click on general. We'll come down to uh, advanced startup. Click restart now. And you're gonna select, we're gonna select the DVD again, so it boots up to it. But we're not gonna get that error again. So now we're gonna choose a device, use a device. Now we're gonna say uh, DVD drive as the as the device. So select that, and now it's gonna boot up to the device. So, uh, so now we have the HP logo coming up. There we go, press any key to put the device.